Hey guys, in this video we're gonna learn how to use data tables, so how to load data into our table, how to sort data, how to filter them out, how to search within our data like this. So let's get started. If you don't know how to use MD Bootstrap yet, please check our quick start videos, which you can find in the quick start section or in the description down below. Now let's navigate to mdbootstrap.com and then switch to MDB farm documentation, which you can find in the navigation on the right side, clicking Bootstrap 5 icon. Now let's go to data tables and let's get started. So once you download MDB 5, you can open this in your text editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code and start an index.html5 which will show you the start screen. Now we're going to use first very basic example, which utilize HTML markup. So this example consists only of HTML code. I'm going to copy this one and paste into our project. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just remove this placeholder and paste our table over here. And this is the result. So as you can see, it's very easy to start using data tables. I'm going to show you more advanced options in a second, but you can already see that this is working out of the box. So we can sort data, we can paginate them. Or actually here we have not enough records. So let me duplicate this one. So we have a few more. So now we can see that we have 12, so we can paginate them or we can change uh, rows per page settings already. Okay, now let's move to more advanced example because usually when you work with a data and the data table, you don't want to fill all the data manually like here. So you don't want to create new rows or columns and fill them with data. What you usually do, you want to work with a different data structures and fill the data using JavaScript. So let's move to the next example with the basic data structure. We're going to replace our HTML markup to just a div with the ID data table. So let me replace this table with an empty div. Or actually, we also have to get rid of this class. So we just have the with ID data table. And now let's copy the JavaScript, which contains our data. And as you can see here, we have data defined as a rows and we have our headers defined as a columns name. Let's see how does it work. So I'm going to paste our JavaScript here. And as you can see, we've got exactly the same result, but now all the data are controlled by JavaScript, so we can easily modify them. And I'm going to show you how to reload data using Ajax calls in a second. Now let's just quickly go through code. So we have our basic data object. So as you can see, now we have columns and rows defined over here. And then we have function to initiate our data table, which takes two arguments. First one is selecting our data table by ID. And second one is actually our data. So we are passing this variable towards our function. Now, very often when it comes to work with data, we have to deal with some advanced data structures. So now let's have a look at the following example. So I'm going to copy JavaScript part from advanced data structure example and I'm going to replace this basic data. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, and as you can see here, now we are using object to define our data. So our columns and rows are objects. And now what we have to do is to pass this advanced data instead of basic data. So I'm going to remove this line of code, save it, and this works pretty much the same 
as previous one but you can see a small difference over here so as you can see now we can sort by name and start date but we can't sort over position office or age and this is because except for passing the label into our columns we can also pass some more options i'm going to talk about options in a second and one of the options which we passed to this columns position office age and salary is sort set to false so as soon as i change it to either true or just remove it it will take its default option which is true and allows us to sort over this column now talking about options please refer to our api tab which shows you all available options and how you can apply them so we've been talking about creating data table over data attributes so you can also change all the options via data attribute but you have to pass them like this or you can change them via javascript so i'm going to show you that right now so you've already seen column options like sort and there are others like field fix with which you can apply to our column there are options applicable to entire table like the one here's so let's see how we can use it now so we have this bordered option so in order to apply option we can either directly pass it as a third argument and this will get applied or we can create a new object with all our settings and pass it, pass this object options as an argument to our function and the result is pretty much, it's exactly the same actually. And so what we can change, we can change a lot. So we can change the pagination options, headers, whether we want to our data to be editable uh, whether we want to have a dark mode so let's check a few of them for example we can change select table to true this will make our row select table and in case we want to check multiple then we can use multi option and set it to true this will let us select multiple rows at the same time and obviously there are much more we can do with our table so i strongly encourage you to check other options now as i mentioned before it's also possible to search within our table so now let's have a look at this example so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add this search option here so from the search example i'm copying this extra html markup so this is input code and i'm gonna paste it above our data table now we also have to change the way we initialize our table so i'm gonna copy this piece of code as well and replace our initiation code here so I'm going to replace this one. Now we also need to change mm, this parameter. So this is data. And in our case, we call our data advanced data. So instead of data, I'm going to pass advanced data. We are not passing options anymore in this example. And let's see how it works now. So as soon as I start typing like London, you can see that our table filters all the results for us there are also advanced search options so we can define for example in which columns specifically we want to search so we could let our users to search only by name and position or by name and office now as i mentioned there are many different options like select table scroll but you already know how to change all the options so let's move to more interesting example which is loading asynchronous data to 
to our table. So let's copy this example. This is a real life example because usually you want to load all the data into your table using JavaScript and you want to reload them or refresh them dynamically by calling some functions. So let's copy this example. So I'm going to replace our existing code with... And let's also copy this JavaScript part. So let's copy, let's paste it here and let's save it. And let's see what's going on now. So you can see already some data. When we check our network tab and refresh, we can see that we have this call to users. So this is called to an API, this API. So this function calls immediately after loading the page and getting this data and loading them into data table. So now let's simulate some refresh option. So let's create function load data. So let's wrap it up with function call and let's add some button over here. Let's say button on click what was called load data load new data so now as you can see our table is empty and once we click this button it will make a call to the api and fill the data fill the table with the data and finally you can also add some other data into our table like action buttons which allows you to cover even very very complex scenarios or use cases on your website okay guys finally i want to mention the last thing which you can find in our docs it's a builder so this is a visual builder which allows us to check all the options and design your table as per your need so you can change colors border colors font colors also the size of the table and basically design entire table and this will generate ready to use code for you which you can just copy and use in your project So I hope you enjoy this tutorial on data tables. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. You can find the link in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment. Let us know how do you like this component. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because every Tuesday and Thursday you're going to find a new tutorial like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.